Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Bhupendra Shravagi and I work as a scientist at the Developmental Biology Group, Agarkar Research Institute, Pune. Today I'm going to tell you about the research we do in our lab. So to begin with, I would like to introduce you to developmental biology. What is developmental biology? Developmental biology is the study of process of formation of complex organism from a fertilized egg. Uh, an important aspect of uh, developmental biology is uh, the process of formation of this complex organism is similar in insects, fish, birds and humans as well. We use Drosophila melanogaster as a model system to study various aspects of uh, developmental biology. Why? Why do we use Drosophila melanogaster? Well, one of the important reasons is that 70 to 75 percent of human disease causing genes are present in Drosophila. So, if we wanted to study human disease, it is possible. To do it in Drosophila. We cannot work on humans uh, because of regulatory aspects and what is also important is the development, the gross or the broad development of both insects and humans is controlled by similar genes. So for example formation of head, thorax and abdomen uh, is controlled by same set of genes in Drosophila and humans. So what do we do in the developmental biology group? Our research is currently focused on germline stem cells, maintenance of these stem cells and aging. And we look at these in context of autophagy, meta metabolism, mitophagy and self renewal signals. So what are stem cells? Stem cells are a very special kind of cells which are present in our bodies uh, and they are important for maintenance of tissues. An important aspect of stem cells is they divide asymmetrically and replace the dividing stem cell and the daughter cell can then differentiate into variety of other cell types within the tissue. What are germline stem cells then? Germline stem cells are actually very very specialized stem cells which have also capacity to renew but they will differentiate only in an egg or a sperm. We study germline stem cells in the developmental biology group. So coming to autophagy. What is autophagy? In simplest terms, autophagy means self-eating in a more complicated way but in also a sim simpler language, it's cells own garbage collection and recycling system. It is absolutely important for the cell to have autophagy functional for keeping the cells healthy and normal. Autophagy removes uh, proteins which are harmful to the cell, it removes organelles like mitochondria which are harmful to the cell. They are degraded and the nutrients are recycled back into the cell. Impaired autophagy has been shown to uh, cause accelerated aging and lead to diseases such as neurodegeneration and cancer. So what is the connection between stem cells, autophagy and aging? Well, recently researchers have shown that in younger cells, autophagy is maintained at higher levels and therefore the process of aging is slower. However, as these cells age, the older cells, the levels of autophagy go down and then this causes aging. 
Is this true for germline stem cells? Yes. We have found that as these germline stem cells age, the autophagy levels going are going down. We are looking at the female germline stem cells in Drosophila. So once we knew that autophagy levels are going down, we thought that can we reverse the process of aging in these cells? And Drosophila is a superior model for genetic studies. So we elevated the levels of autophagy using genetic tools present in Drosophila and assayed for aging markers or aging uh, aspects of these germline stem cells. And what we found out was when we increase the levels of autophagy in these stem cells, these cells were behaving more younger and the process of aging was also reduced in these cells. <clears throat> so one of the aspects of younger stem cells is they are able to divide uh, at regular intervals to produce uh, eggs. So we looked at the number of eggs which are produced by these stem cells and we found that well, more number of eggs were produced for longer duration. We next looked at the self-renewal markers in these cells and we found that these were also elevated thus enabling these stem cells to be maintained for a longer time in the adult tissues. An important aspect of aging is that the mitigation or uh, adaptability towards the reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species cause damage to the cells and is one of the reasons why these cells can age. However, in our study, when autophagy levels were elevated, ROS levels were mitigated or went down, suggesting that autophagy uh, is also functioning by reducing the damage caused by reactive oxygen species. Well, further work is going on in, this, in these aspects to find out how these cells are uh, becoming younger. One of the satisfying aspects of doing research is getting recognized for the findings you publish in journals. We were lucky to get two covers um, as shown here and we were also cited uh, as outstanding research in one of the uh, research articles. This work was possible through funding from Government of India by Department of Biotechnology, Department of Science and Technology, Science and Engineering Board and of course a big thank you for ARI for helping us throughout. Thank you.